So I'm John, I'm here with Jesse. Hey Jesse, hey. how's it going? Good, how are you? I feel like we're on a job interview. Or a like, first date. Yeah, something like that. So... <laughs> I like long walks on the beach, on nice. this beach specifically. That beach. <laughs> we're like a fully equipped with product placement too. <laughs> awesome. Um, that was pre-planned. Um, so, Jesse, you're toying with two of the biggest uh, women, I was going to say rockers, but neither of them are really rockers. Superstars. Uh, women superstars. Female superstars. Um, talk to me a little bit about this tour with Britney and Vicky. Yeah, well, it's the Femme Fatale tour, mm -hmm. and it's, as you said, with Britney Spears and Nicki Minaj. Yep. The crazy part about it is that growing up as a kid, Britney was my everything. I actually did my fifth grade talent show to Baby One More Time. Did you really? Yeah. So did I. No, okay. <laughs> totally. So, that would have been awkward. So it's like, I'm a huge Britney fan, that <laughs> yeah. would be a little awkward. Yeah. Um, and my favorite new artist um, to come out in a long time, you know, is Nicki Minaj. Yeah. So it was just a dream, I guess, scenario to be asked to be one of the Femme Fatales. I, I've, I've had the best summer of my life, and so it's really been an incredible experience. Are they forthcoming, like either one of them, with like kind of helping you, showing you the ropes at all? Or, absolutely, or absolutely. telling you, I mean, Brittany, who else but Brittany would know, like, you know, advice of what not to do, what to do, and what to yeah. watch out for, and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, they're both total sweethearts. I've spoken to Nikki more so than Brittany, and um, she's a doll. She's given me a lot of advice. Um, one of the funny things uh, before we went on tour, actually, is that uh, we did a little shout out. She was on a radio station doing an interview, and I had just left the radio station. So I left her a little note. This was right before we went on tour, and I was like, hey, Nikki, and we hadn't met yet. I was like, you know, this is my first tour. Let me know if you have any advice or whatever. And she read the note during the interview live, and she was like, Jesse, pack a lot of socks. And I was like, okay. So that was her first bit of advice to me. And I took it, thankfully, because obviously, you know, this is the first tour I've ever been on. And let me tell you, you run out of socks. Like, I don't know where they go, but mm -hmm. it's like worse than when you do your laundry and they disappear in the dryer. Like, really? yeah, like the tour bus is this weird, like, sock eating vortex, yeah. and they're everywhere. And I'm the only one on the bus with socks, and everyone tries to, like, steal my socks. No, they're like weird groupies who steal socks and, like, put them up on eBay. There's something. something. There's, like, bus gremlins that, like, sneak out into your bunks and snatch your socks. Are you wearing socks now, Mama? Absolutely. See? <laughs> Segway. Got the Doc Martens. <laughs> so, um, I listened to your EP and, it's, and it really is great. And the, and the vibe that I got, correct me if I'm wrong, is like really, really good 80s music. Yeah. Like, is, that's not insulting to you, right? Because I mean no. it would be my most compliment. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I, I take it as a compliment. Yeah. I love 80s music. Yeah. And um, actually, um, David Gampson, and Scritti Politti. Really? And he produced Money Makes the Girl Go Round for me. I didn't write it with him, but he produced it, which is probably why you get that 80s vibe, mm -hmm. as well as We Own the Night, so it's kind of cool. After this tour and all that, you know, you're, you're jumping on another tour, right? Yeah. What, what is that all about? It's called the Identity Festival. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's basically um, a traveling electronic music festival, and um, like warp tour but for dance music nice yeah and again you know this truly has been the best summer of my life because i'm a huge um fan of artists on this bill as well like skrillex and cascade mm -hmm. and steve aoki afro jab mm -hmm. like the lineup holy ghost nero it's so i can't wait to like perform my show and then like run across to another stage and watch other shows it's gonna be just to backtrack and totally, you know, go go back to the start. Yeah. This Britney tour, right? How, yeah. How hard is it to open up for two big acts where, like, you know, you're the opening act? It's got to be... Right. It's got to be insane, right? I mean, some people are, are there just for the experience of Britney. Some of them are there for both. Not yeah. a lot are there for you, arguably, I'm just saying. Right. No, so, you're I mean, right. So, you really kind of have to win them over, right? Yeah, I think you have to. Or, um, you know... Who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise. Yeah. But um, my biggest thrill has been leaving the show and getting all the tweets and the Facebook comments and being like, hey Jesse, just want to let you know I've never heard of you before until tonight mm -hmm. and you have a new fan again in me. Like, you totally blew me away. And so that's been awesome, you mm -hmm. know? The first night I was definitely really nervous. 
you know, you, you always see that moment or you hear about that moment. And I've been at a concert when they do the whole, like, let me hear you scream. Right. And then the screams. So I tried it. feeling. I was like, okay, all right, we're, I'm doing something right. And mm -hmm. so, you know, with my show, I just try to keep it really high energy. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's very much about the songs. Right. So, yeah. Now, I mean, I'm assuming you're in the studio for a full length album now? Yeah. Okay. Is it going to sound a little like EP? A little different? Something? Um, a little different. Yeah. Um, I mean, Vibe-wise, a little different. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling the record "This Is How Rumors Start," okay. and it's um, much darker than "Show Me Your Tan Lines." Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to put "Show Me Your Tan Lines" out because I wasn't sure if some of these songs were going to make the record. Because it's a uh, the EP has a I mean, you've listened to it, but mm -hmm. a very bright summertime like yeah. sipping pina coladas kind okay. of vibe. And Just um, like this. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's like food coloring, by the way. Is it really? Drink. Yeah. <laughs> you mean none of this is authentic? Is, is it a beach at least? It's a beach. It's yeah. like a blue screen. No! It's totally a just green my, screen or a blue screen? Just my drink. I wanted it. To, I couldn't okay. find a drink when we were shopping that was like, um, had like a pigment that I wanted, okay. so we put food coloring in there. Nice. But, um, but the, uh, this is how rumors start is a little darker. Uh, I wrote a lot of it. Uh, when I lived in London, I kind of went through uh, a lot. <laughs> so it's um, there are songs on it about war, about love, about sex, about betrayal. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's about being away from home. You know, about partying and dancing your ass off. Kind of a whole circle of stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, it sounds really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but everything's yeah. to like an upbeat. No, I, I love. Yeah, no. It's, so it's, it's sort of ironic. <laughs> what, what do you? What's your family think? Because some of your lyrics are kind of funny. I'm just curious. Um, my family, they're cool. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty. Everybody's pretty much a free spirit in my family. Yes. Yeah. Do you enjoy making music videos? That's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. You seem like you were talking to me off camera before about how you're like a visual kind of person. So I'm just. I must love it. I love that. It's all about the visuals for me. Actually, when I'm writing a song, if I can't see a video, I throw the song away. So I've already, I have videos to every single song. If I had, really? the, if I had the budget to make a video to every yeah. song, I would. Yeah. Cool. Let's yeah. make one right now. Okay. <laughs> In the can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, uh, Inside joke. <laughs> um, last question is, if you were a professional wrestler, what would your name be? And what would your finishing move be? Okay, if I was a professional wrestler... You're not a professional wrestler. Maybe I am. <laughs> in my other life in Toyland. Um, I would be... I would be... Senora Sonic Boom. <laughs> and my finishing move would be... The Toyland Turtleneck tranquilizer. That's that. <laughs> it's pretty cool for on the spot. Well played. Thank you. <laughs>